I recently started my bachelor's degree in marine science with a concentration in marine biology at Stockton. And with my first year completed, I got the chance to intern with one of my professors, Dr. Lacey, or Dr. Z as we call her. So today, I'm going to show you what a typical field day looks like. I had to get up pretty early, which is pretty normal for a uh, field day and for science in general. You don't get to really sleep in and the hours are a little odd. If you're wondering what being a marine biology intern is, it's getting up and leaving the house at 6.30 for a boat that is an hour and a half away. All right. <laughs> And because I'm working on a few different projects, on sort of covering them in a social media, videography, photography uh, facet, I asked one of the researchers, Delaney, to explain to me what exactly we were doing that day. Okay. So what are we up to today? Why are we on a boat? Okay, so we're doing the dual habitat um, on Earth. Dual habitat project today. Um, we're headed to Bunt Island first. Um, I might be pronouncing that wrong, but hopefully that's how it's pronounced. <laughs> <laughs> um, la or two weeks ago, we put down sediment traps and sediment tubes, which is still a sediment trap. And um, we let that for two weeks collect sediment. So today we're collecting that. So that way, I believe Dr. Miskowski is um, processing those after we come back. And then once we collect those, we're going to put out the fish traps. So those will sit for a few days and collect all the fish that are roaming around that area. So that way we'll know if they're... Um, good species for the seagrass and oyster reefs that will be implemented there. And then we'll also go to Barrel Island, which is the control site. Um, and then we'll also collect the sediment traps and same thing there too. Cool. And that's pretty much it. And then we'll come back and do processing. Nice. So we got on the boat and sped away through the marshes and into the bay. Steve Everett, the Stockton Marine Field Station Director, took us out to the site. He helped the researchers, Dr. Z and Dr. Thompson, to develop the project, so he was able to give us a clear idea of what our process and goals were that day. Get in there, get in work. All right, so uh, this is the uh, dual habitat site. It's uh, the island right there is called Bunting Sedge. It's part of what we loosely call the Sedge Islands behind Holgate. This is a flood tidal delta. Um, from a historical inlet that was a little bit closer than the current inlet. But anyway, it's a series of islands that are back in this area. There's a series of channels that run through it. We're reasonably close to the inlet. The site was chosen uh, based on uh, based on the uh, largely the bottom type, um, a significant amount of sand. Uh, also, its distance and, and relationship to this channel uh, and the inlet for the purposes of uh, cooler water relative to further up in the bay, right? Which is a major stressor, heat of uh, seagrass. The girls then set to work collecting the sediment pans and tubes that were placed there a couple weeks back. The next step was to put out the fish traps, which will give them an idea of what sort of species are in the area. The goal of the dual habitat project is to create a model of what areas around the Sedge Islands would make for a good habitat for Zoster marina or eelgrass to be planted, and then to start that restoration planting process. <laughs> The next step was to replace the YSI, which records a bunch of data every 15 minutes over the course of many days about temperature, salinity, and other information about the environment. So we were actually processing samples from the monitoring project, not the uh, dual habitat project. There's four main projects happening, so I kind of dabble in all of them, and we all, we all help each other out, but I'm really reporting on all of them. So. The monitoring project is more about what is happening right now. Dual habitat sort of looks towards what 
could we do um, to restore the eelgrass. I actually got to help out with this part of the project. Um, so what I did was I was I had a piece of paper and was writing down all of the measurements that other people were calling out and saying um, this is from site one or site six and this is the size um, of the eelgrass and this is how many shoots there are and stuff like that. So here's a clip of me doing the more mundane side of what is otherwise a very fun and exciting job. That's me. Simple four. We got above 294 and below 295. I love that we're singing now. Hey, hey, hey. Woo! See, we have our ways of making it fun. A little while later, we put some Island Divide music on, you know, the Hawaiian version of Somewhere Over the Rainbow, stuff like that. Um, and we just plugged away until it was all wrapped up around 4 p.m. I got home around 5.30, so it ended up being around uh, an 11 hour day of interning. Have any questions about the project or marine biology in general? Be sure to leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer them. And if I can't answer them, I'll find someone who can. Until then, stay curious. <laughs>